Okay, folks, basically, I uh, might just throw this up for a video tomorrow, but uh, I'm just going to show some very quick uh, observations here of data. And the polar angle is the highest I've ever seen it before. I did get catch it, I and mean, the last time I didn't, I caught something about right where my cursor's at right now, but not all the way over where the black's at now there. So, uh, the density was up earlier this, like on Thursday or Friday, it was high. Uh, this is uh, Saturday night going into Sunday, and there's our central standard time, date and time always down in the right hand corner. So, uh, getting this for data save, and then we'll go ahead and we're, we're getting uh, energy coming through our atmosphere that's fresh from Boulder. Uh, there's that. That uh, we're getting cosmic energy from outer space and the sun also. So that basically CME that I think we had coming by us here, and then uh, our proton flux has been higher than it's been for a while. We have seen spikes before, and that's the last time I showed you a tape uh, showing you a lot of data here on this. So basically, well, I'm going to go ahead and, and try to give you some more down. And on this one, remember what Earth is on there when we're looking at it here. And I don't know why I'm getting a magnifier anyway. But then here we've got our CME that comes off the sun. And as you can see, it's going to miss. Uh, so we shouldn't get too much. We're going to get a glancing of it. As you can see over here, I might get a little bit of energy from it. We are getting some uh, energy from out in space right now, okay? So, uh, let me go ahead and show you what I'm really, uh, now this is the mag of the quakes, and as you can see, this is normal because this is pretty much the the, the time and everything that down in the right-hand corner. It's normally calm this time of the, of the evening, uh, of what we've been going through, the rollingness of everything for a while. But as you can see, Santa Cruz is still busy at the five point, and that, remember that's the mag line is right here. Okay, now I've got Santa Cruz 6.2 there. But it's even more dramatic. It's been in the last the ninth. We had three pages of this stuff. I'm going to keep going through it. 6.0. Santa Cruz just banging, banging, banging away. Santa Cruz is, and that's not. This isn't. This isn't the highest. Okay, just here. Cause we're going to show you it's 7.1, 7.2. Other areas picking up, I think we're going to end up showing you uh, uh, it refreshes all the time, which is good. We just get fresh energy. I mean, energy. I mean, we're going to get we get fresh info here, data. So if I can get my uh, cursor to pick us back in here, and as you see, nothing new, big, fresh, but we'll get back down through this data here. Santa Cruz Islands, hammering away like I'm telling you, and then uh, getting this action at Poland. Now there's also at Norway, and as you see here, this is the second page of the data, and, and uh, we'll go down here, we got Columbia picked up, we had all this action in Columbia, 116 kilometers deep, folks, 130 kilometers deep, 100 kilometers deep, 200 kilometers deep, so Columbia's really getting nailed all of a sudden, okay? So we got crazy action going on, uh, I'll take you over to A and F again real fast, uh, We'll go down through here, and then I'll give you one more page of, of action here. We'll go to the third. And just basically letting you know, because basically outer space has been showing you the objects that we've got going around. So, and then that electrical energy that we get from the sun and also other things that we've been showing you on all my videos that we're getting from outer space. We're, we're in uh, massive objects from outer space that we haven't been around for a hell of a long time and I think it's something like a 75 80 year deal like I constantly tell everybody it's like the dirty 30s all over again uh, we just don't we we do our agriculture different than what we used to so basically uh, and then even moving into the 8th before the 9th and this is our date and time down here so, you know we're gonna be moving into the 10th the here tomorrow we'll see what kind of activity we're going to get tomorrow but uh, I've got more graph action I can show you and then here's our Navy my freshest Navy shot, and basically what we got going on is uh, either they got interference or they got definitely something they don't want to let us see. Okay, so this is the latest of the sun. So something to the left, either the data is blocking something. So, uh, and how this gets done is we have layers and layers and layers. It's basically a facsimile, and they basically with all the satellites and all the lenses and stuff, and uh, the radar. 
we also get this shot without the sun okay sun is but it's basically they just black it out so you can't see the sun so and then we're getting a lot of electrical energy and then i'll pop it up real fast on the screen size so you can see what i'm talking about and move over there and i'm seeing a lot more than what i normally see here okay a lot of movement electrical energy i mean you can see it star bright star bright blink blink you see it's we got some stars lining up giving a lot of electrical energy right there i'll scroll, scroll over there and we'll get up to 888 on it take a good look at it uh, boom, boom, boom. and there you go a bunch of stars in alignment and electrical energy getting passed along through outer space just like a flash cube Light is electrical energy. Let me see if we get 999 real fast on that. Get in a little bit more. And there you go. So those are stars. Let's get the magnifier out for a second real fast. Take a look at it. Now i got to hurry up and get you the data. Now I've showed you this stuff before, folks. And this is basically... I'll try to see if I can move the magnifier out of the way. And get those are stars lined up out there in space. And I'll click us up one size here. We'll move up a little bit more and take a look at it some more close but those are stars out there in space as you can see that real good signature there all lined up so that might be part of the umbilical cords or, or umbilical cords that we get way the heck out there in space so that's from layers and layers of let me get down on size Boom. so that's the layer shot Get rid of our magnifier and I'll go over into another data site that I want to show you some stuff about magnetosphere and everything like that. Because it's basically off the charts like the, just like the and as you see here we're getting a wild this is a live update here on our that's your plasma, that's Earth right here. This is the side towards the sun. That's the dark side. And we're rotating, but our plasma is doing a wild zomba. So, fresh data, and then I'm going to be able to show you even more better because the idea that I got one that's basically an analog gauge. Let me check this out. Check this out. And that's why I just do this data. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to upload this real fast. I don't even care how crap this is, but this is just a lot of wild data. I mean, we're getting some major benchmarks. And I wish that I would have started this video a little bit earlier and maybe going to miss not get the data that I did. But basically, I'm getting it here. We got red major league at the, at the South Pole. So we're, we're traveling and getting a lot more friction off our South Pole axis right now than we, we are off of our North Pole, as you can see right here. Okay, It's red. Now see, this is our gauging, and red is higher. Now, when we go down here, I'm probably going to see what I seen earlier. And yes, we do, and we even have more layers of pink. When I looked at this earlier... This is very, very high, okay? We're way over nine, okay? Our electron flux is just, in the equilateral plane, is just on fire. And basically because what I showed you on the polar angle, uh, when I was showing you on the polar angle. So back up the tape on Solar Artist that I was showing you on the polar angle. It's just crazy right now. Okay, here we go, folks. And basically, this is all the graphs around Yellowstone. And as you can see, Addison River and then Moose Creek. Check that out down there. And they've all got this quake at the same time. Okay, I'm pointing to that there on the graph. You can't miss it. You can see it. It all hit at the same time. So they had a big quake. Okay, straight up had a big quake. Now, what I can show you, too, is you get an interesting signature. And as you can see, Madison River and Old Faithful, they got... A big quake and we didn't get it they didn't even run a report now check that one out how you can see that wave signature that is in that and i'm going to pump it up a little bit you can see it better from a long ways away looking at it small and then i think i can get it because i'm trying to bring it up on size so that you can see this signature that i'm trying to, that i'm seeing and you see how you can see that wave signature through it by looking at it small size and looking at it a long ways away because I'll pump that, I'm going to pump this one open and you're not going to see it like you see it there. But you can see a wave over time going through the mag. Okay, because that's the mag. That's showing you the 
the magnitude of the quake. Quakes, okay? Now, uh, real quick, I'm not just trying to warn everybody. I got, you know, I, I live up around far western. Love that state. And so, basically, homies out there, be aware. So, uh, and then basically, Western Washington, I, I tell my friends out there to basically take a look too, check that out out there. Now, and then here was Madison. So they all had that quake at the same time, huge. And it basically didn't get reported on a lot of graphs. So I'll show you Ann. Now remember, Denny Creek got that. Horse Butte got it. Everybody got it. Even Maple Creek, you can see a signature of it there. And then we'll open up uh, Moose Creek here real fast. There you go. They all got it. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and look at the graphs. And I can't stress enough, New Madrid area needs to stay aware and stay awake on everything. And as you can see, none of this stuff that I was showing you on the graphs has ended up being showed up recently. You see, they're not showing it. So and then my Washington friends, there you go. You can see that we do, they are reporting stuff there. So you got to keep a 3.7 minute quake, you see. So the United States is getting these quakes. We'll open this map up a little bit here. Take a spin around. Now Canada had one, and then basically I need to go show you some other links here. But then we also had this 5.5 over in Hawaii. Okay, and then all this action over here that we know of. And I'm going to go show you, see how New Zealand's not showing on this map. Let me show you on another one. Now, folks, I've been watching this stuff for about two years now. And they are hiding more and more all the time of quakes going on. As you can see, see New Zealand? been going crazy down in New Zealand besides we know about Santa Cruz okay and as you see that's just recently okay and I'll just pop on anything here and then you can read it because it'll usually if I can pop around on stuff pretty fast okay so there's tons of quakes we are definitely in high quake arama action and DA 14 is coming I told you about that and then keeping you guys warning you and warning you warning now remember too San, the Puerto Rico area stuff has calmed down a little bit compared to what it used to pile drive so much and now our pile driving area is here but still remember Puerto Rico is still pile driving too you just got to keep in remember oh yeah I got to show you that basically we've had a, a 5.3 or something uh, magnitude 3 but there was a 5 point something in uh, at USGS here at the graphs and we'll just go through it and it's getting it everywhere I'll slow down when we get down to US places and stuff and you'll just realize that we are getting a lot of action so, Albuquerque, New Mexico, okay? Missouri, Alaska, we've known that for long. Oregon getting a lot of action right there. Australia's getting pounded. This is fresh too. These are times here, I'll even pop into one of these real fast. When we get down to, I'll even show you South Dakota because I actually screwed up and I was gonna show people before that we are getting stuff even when we don't have, and currently, like I showed you, basically, we don't have a big seven point something going on. So it's not really causing this. It's just the idea that we are on a massive polar angle right now. So everything in the middle of the earth is going in directions. And now I've seen worse than this before down at South Pole, Antarctica, but we're getting back into the, what the worst I've seen before again, okay? Let me open up South Dakota so you realize that. And then just above that, we also have, uh, well, it used to have like Missouri sitting there. I'm going to finish going down to the graph, and there's Pennsylvania. And all over, there's Arizona. Okay. And then I'm going to open that South Dakota one up real fast. And actually, I probably should have just picked up Arizona and opened that up. But I'll give you a good idea that right in the middle of America, pretty much. And I think I just felt the quake right there again, because I've been feeling these. Okay. The Hawaii there showed you that. So I actually screwed up, I should have opened up and let me take some time to uh, go ahead and I will go ahead and open one up. Norway's real solid ground, they had a four point something over there in Norway, okay? And then let me go also go over to uh, show you, here's the New Missouri area, New Madrid area, so wake up people, okay? And then we get vacuum because we've already had tornadoes this year and then basically we've got to keep watching that warm and cold fronts hit the tornadoes they are getting hit 
cryo eater. 